Okay, so our next slide is a song uh, written uh, and played by Carlos Santana, a famous Latin American uh, musician. And right off in the beginning of the lyrics, it's Maria Maria, she reminds me of a West Side story. And uh, Maria Maria reached number one in Canada, France, Germany, Hungary, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United States. The title and the lyrics are inspired by the musical West Side Story, which opened on Broadway in 1957. A fan of the 1961 film adaptation, uh, lyric Wycliffe Jean said he wanted to borrow the storyline, but put it in the middle of the hood. And the hood is the uh, African American slang for uh, neighborhood. In Jean's version, the leading lady Maria is from Spanish Harlem. She falls in love in Los Angeles, which coincidentally was proposed as the original setting for West Side Story. So some of the words uh, in the song are in uh, Spanish. And uh, the song becomes a smash hit, as we say. But, you know, here again, here we are uh, 60 years later and uh, West Side Story is uh, mentioned in a, uh, a popular song. And this is not the only uh, isolated incident. Uh, looking through the references, uh, West Side Story and literature and music and television and drama, it's, it's huge. It's huge. Uh, so um, it's still uh, relevant today. So, and uh, the song becomes a big smash hit. Carlos Santana makes a lot of money. He uh, takes some of his uh, money and he invests in a chain of uh, restaurants called Maria Maria, which is uh, mostly in uh, Northern uh, California with a few in uh, Arizona and uh, Texas. Uh, basically uh, catering to something we call Tex-Mex, which is a combination of uh, food from Texas and uh, Mexico. Your tacos, your enchiladas, uh, so forth. That's the, the basic uh, menu fare. So 60 years after the release of the uh, movie musical West Side Story, it's still influences the arts and even restaurants uh, today.